Hi, everyone, and welcome to our Get to Know You series with the University Career Center. We're going to get started here in just about a minute, um, but we're really excited for you all to join us today. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started and welcome y'all to the University Career Center's presentation today. We're really excited to talk with you. I am Jocelyn. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm one of the Career Services Coordinator here at the UCC, the University Career Center. Hi, everyone. My name is Joelle from Daryl Randall. I use she, her, her pronouns, and I'm an Assistant Director at the University Career Center. And if you have questions throughout the presentation, I will be the kind of person behind there answering those for you. And if there's a question that would like you would like us to share out loud, I'm happy to also raise my hand, and then Jocelyn will know that we'll be fielding your question for the entire community. Thanks for being here today. Okay. So welcome y'all. We're really excited to talk about the University Career Center, UCC for short. You might hear me shorten that a few times today and talk about the services that we offer and the resources that we offer to our students here on campus. So first off, where are we, where are we located? We are located in the Student Activities Building. So that also might also be the building that you stopped at for a tour. We're on the third floor there. And we operate Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. So that is when our physical office is open. So come by and chat with us. So throughout the presentation today, you are going to see a ton of slides with different resources. Please feel free to take a snap, a picture of any slide that you would like, as well as at the end of the presentation, we are going to have a QR code that's going to link to a document that does have a lot of links, as well as information about what we chatted about today. So please feel free to scan that QR code at the end to take that information home with you today. And as Joelle said, we are taking questions within the Q&A function throughout this entire thing. So please put anything in there with any questions you might have about what we talk about today or just about career services in general. Okay, so excited to go over this information with you. And here we go. Sorry, so before we get started, we do have two takeaways that we kind of want to talk with you about today. And do start in a little bit of a quiz. So our first question is, what percent of students switch their majors in college? A, 12%, B, 25%, C, 33%, or D, 41%. So I just want you to take about 20 seconds to think about that and kind of come to your answer of what percent of students you think switch their majors in college. So the answer is C, 33%. So that means one in three parents might or family members might be having that discussion with their students about switching majors or exploring. And that's really ex exciting to us because that shows that that is that time for the, our students to explore and to connect across campus. And as they learn more about what's out there, they might find interests in different areas or find experiences that are going to give them a different sets of skills. So it's not a bad thing to change your major. It's not a bad thing to explore. Instead, it's actually celebrated. And we encourage our students to explore and connect across campus. It is a healthy part of the process and it's something that everyone's going to go through. So second question, true or false? You should wait until the end of your journey at Michigan to visit the University, university Career Center. The answer is false. You should not wait until your end of your journey at Michigan to visit the University Career Center. Instead, preparation begins now. The earlier that you connect with us, the more, the sooner you can learn about resources and you can start to connect across campus, as well as connect off of campus too, right, with employers and alumni and things like that. You want to be able to leverage the resources throughout your entire time rather than just waiting till the end. In fact, we can help you explore, we can help you learn about resources and learn more about what is out there. So a lot of the work that we do is grounded in the idea of career competencies. And these competencies were developed by the National Association of Colleges and Employers. And you can read here that we have those eight, career and self-development, communication, critical thinking, equity and inclusion, leadership, professionalism, teamwork, and technology. 
And so the hope is, and the idea is, that students will start to develop these skills to better help them prepare themselves for the workplace in the future. And so we really keep these in the back of our mind when we are working with our students and when we are creating programming and resources to help them develop the skills within these competencies and to help encourage students to build these competencies. It's also how we are kind of shaping our conversations and the work that we're doing. And so the hope is that we're going to help the students to build these skills and to build these competencies to help prepare for the work after, to prepare for the work after university. And so with experiences such as internships, student organizations, attending programming and workshops, you're going to be able to start building those skills and learn more about them and how to build these skills as well. So whether it is starting to build that leadership by joining a student organization, it is developing professionalism through an internship or co-op, there's a lot of really great ways that you can start to build these as a student. So we want to be able to support you now to help you grow. And so first off, we think about these different areas, yourself, your resources, and your alumni community is how we want to help you with. So first off with yourself is we can help with things such as assessments, programming such as our Ready, Set, Intern, as well as our resume and internship labs. We're going to talk a little bit more about Ready, Set, Intern here in a minute, but it's a really great program for first year students to learn more about internships and how to set yourself up. We also have assessments that we'll talk a little bit more about here as well. We also have resources such as our career tracks, our immersions, our employer challenges, and our handshake account, and our handshake platform to help you learn more about what's out there and to connect with jobs and employers. We also have our alumni community that is out there. Alumni are everywhere and we want to help you connect with them on platforms such as you can and LinkedIn. We'll talk a little bit more about those here in a second. So I mentioned that we want to help you learn and explore more about yourself. And so one way we do that is with our career assessments. So we do offer three assessments in our office, the Clifton Strengths, which is going to help you ask yourself, what are your natural talents? Myers-Briggs Type Indicator or the MBTI, which is going to help you ask yourself, what does my personality type say about my enjoyment at work? And then we offer the Strong Interest Inventory. What major internship should I, would I enjoy most is what it helps you ask yourself. And these are, our coaches are, are certified in these assessments, are going to go through your results with you to really help you kind of ask these questions and leverage them when helping to explore your career and your strengths. Our other program that really helps you kind of explore yourself and get ready with those resources is the first year program of Ready, Set, Intern. And these are going to be offered five sessions in this fall. It is the same session every time offered both in person and virtual, depending on the session. And it's really going to help you start to learn more about how to get ready for internships, how to explore them, how to find them, and how to start connecting to those resources. We also offer our resume labs, usually about three times per week throughout the semester to help you start learning about resumes, start developing that resume. So that when it's time for you to have to submit it for something, you've got a great resume ready to go. The resume labs are, a great time if I say so myself, as I've led several of them. And we start off with a presentation and then move into group work time so that students have that opportunity to ask questions about resumes, but also work with their peers and with staff on how to best format and how to best showcase those great skills that they have learned and developed. We also, we are not, do not just serve undergraduate students, but we also serve our graduate students. One way that we serve them is through our PhD Connections Conference, which is not just a one-day conference, but rather it's about, a, it's spread out throughout a week, and we have different networking events, we have different panels, and it's really to help our PhD students that are looking to get into industry learn how to make those connections and to start forming those connections and be aware of resources. We also have our graduate student career pathways which help with career exploration, job and internship searching, and other programs developed specifically for graduate students. And we do have one-on-one -on -one appointments as well with tailored support for graduate students to help apply and participate in internships. We also have to allow you to connect to resources and continue to stay informed as we do have our career tracks as well. You can see here the list of the different tracks that we offer and students are able to sign up for these and receive an email 
monthly that has information on different events that are happening, different job postings. There might be some information on how to get with it, how to get involved within those tracks or how to get involved in those industries and to just learn more about it. What's really nice too is that those ones that are listed as health and law are for our pre-law students or for our pre-health students as well. So it's not saying you have to be already in these industries, but rather how to get more information to get involved with them. Students are able to sign up for these on our website. And so that is going to be some of the information that is going to be in the document later on, on how to start getting able to sign up to receive those emails. Another great way that again, we are helping you explore is with our employer programming. So one employer programming that we do a great one is called our immersions. And this is where you're actually, we're going to take students actually on site to different companies to be able to explore what's going on um, within the industry and within those organizations and within those job functions. And so we're actually going to take you there, see the space, meet the people and do the job. So it might include something like a case study or some type of program they have going on. We're doing these all over. We just had one in Chicago over spring break going to Dyson and some other areas. And so we want our students to get out there and explore and to really be able to see what is going on and connect with our employers. We also have our employer challenges to that our students are able to participate in as well. And so again, you're going to see here and be able to read a little bit what that is. But so it might mean that an employer is going to come with a program with a problem and students are going to work through that case study as a group and then present it to the employer as well to get some of that information back. So it's again, really great way for students to gain experience and learn more about different roles in different industries. One of my favorite things to talk about is Handshake and Handshake is our online career development platform and it's really where a lot of our stuff lives. So that is where students are going to be able to make an appointment with a career coach to come in for some one-on-one -on -one advising. It's where students are gonna be able to sign up for career tracks and apply for, apply for employer experiences. It's where they're able to search through for different events that are going on, hosted by our office, hosted by employers. They're also able to search for jobs and internships as well as find out information for when our job and internship fairs are happening, being able to sign up for those. So there's such a wealth of information on Handshake and I definitely encourage our students to, start, to log in there very early and to start exploring to see how the platform works and what is all on there. And I will say that one of the appointments that we do do in our office is a Handshake overview to learn how to better leverage the website and how to use it. Students will have access to it on the first day of classes and do automatically have an account and can get in there, signed up, and get ready to go and start searching. Another really great opportunity to get out there and connect is through our alumni communities. And so two of the resources that we really encourage is number one is going to be our University Career Alumni Network, UCAN, as well as the, um, as well as our Rackham Connect. And this is a closed network of only UMICH alumni, students, faculty, and staff, and gives our students access to over 11,000 alumni. And so this is a great place for them to go on there, make connections with alumni, reach out to get more knowledge, to set up things like informational interviews, or just to learn more about different areas. Students can post questions in there to get some feedback, different things. It's a really great hub to form connections and learn more. LinkedIn is also another really great way to connect with our alumni, to create that robust profile, and then reach out and start learning about what's going on, what are alumni up to, and how we can leverage our connections. Again, some of those one-on-one -on -one appointments that we offer are to go over you can and to help you build your LinkedIn profile as well and to learn more about that profile. So I really encourage our students to check these out and to learn a little bit more about them. Here is going to be a little bit of a video going over you can kind of what that looks like and how our students can leverage this again you're seeing the different areas that people are able to search for alumni in alumni in different locations that they might be interested in networking in and starting to learn you're also able to search for through those fields of studies and be like okay i want my alumni here you can see in chicago with this field of study find an alum to be able to find their profile learn a little bit more about them and just hit that let's connect to then be able to send them a message and just start to form that connection in those conversations. Now, I'm gonna have you hear a little bit from our students.
maybe if the video wants to work. So my advice for incoming student is to get involved in clubs. It's the easiest way to find something that you're passionate about and show employers what you like to do. Don't be afraid to change paths. My advice is educate yourself about all the resources and services that are available to you. Use the Career Center resources because they're free. They're free. They're free. Um, you can come in, receive any sort of advice that you're looking for that pertains to job searching or internships. You know, come in, get your resume or cover letter review. Um, come in and learn about the different internship opportunities in whatever area that you might be interested in. Take advantage of the alumni network that the University of Michigan has. Start having informational interviews. Start chatting with different Wolverines around the country and get to hear what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and really get that insight into certain careers that you're considering. I always think it's great to hear from me, but I think it's even greater to hear from our students about why our services are great and how you want to start getting connected. So I've mentioned several times throughout this presentation that Ready, Set, Intern is a great experience for our first year students. You can see here we have our fall dates. Pause, let you take a snap of this to keep those dates. They are all at six o'clock. They all start at the same time. Again, you can see which ones are going to be in person and which ones are going to be virtual and where they're going to be located. We encourage our students to sign up ahead of time and to attend because it's a really great way to start learning how to be a great candidate for jobs and internships and how to really take advantage and leverage your time here at Michigan. Okay, and then I promised that QR code that was going to have a link to our resources and everything we chatted about today. And so right here in that corner, you're going to find that QR code. So I really encourage you to scan it and take in all that information. You're also going to see here all of our contact information. So our website, our email, our phone number, and our Instagram that has some really great videos and things to learn about our offers. And again, our physical address is going to be there. And we are operational Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. And we really encourage you to stop by and see us and come take advantage of our services. So thank you all for listening to me chat for a while today. Um, please, if you have any questions, please drop them in the question and answer, and I will be happy to answer anything. But thank you for taking time out of your day today to learn more about the University Career Center. And for those who would like to um, provide some questions for us to answer, you're welcome. There's a QA feature at the bottom of the toolbar. Um, I know some folks are familiar with Zoom, but some may be new to Zoom, and we are happy to answer those questions. I have the fun QA dot, um, form up and ready in case you do all have questions. I think we'll probably hang here until um, uh, two more minutes to see if you all have questions because we're here for you all.